know and have commented commented that Cyril is good. All right? Is he carried by the fact he plays Zerg? By Lings and Banelings? By his mechanics? By some combination of all of them? Well, we're going to dive into it. The first person perspective of the man himself. And if you are so inclined, you can do this too. You can go download the Team Liquid Star League 9 replay pack or any number of pretty much every important tournament. And watch Cyril in first person just like I am. But uh, I'm here to... I'm, I'm your Cyril translator. As someone who is uh, only a couple thousand MMR away from being Cyril, uh, I think I can kind of uh, convert it down like a power transformer. Uh, so that way you don't get overwhelmed. And that's what I'm going to try to do, though. Sometimes watching Cyril, it feels like a bit too much. What always strikes me uh, about Cyril is it's easy enough to follow. The early game, we see him setting up camera locations. But when I watch Rainer, or the player on the other side, by the way, Clem, afterthought, uh, when I watch them, I can't keep up. Like... Whether it's Observer Cam, when they're streaming, it's somewhere like 60, 70 screens per minute. Which means, on average, more than once a second, they are, are switching their camera. Which is just obscene. Cyril is a, a little bit under that, I think, usually. But what he makes up for it with is, one, just patience. And two, precision. He very rarely... One of the hardest things to do with that mass Ling Bang composition is make sure all the right units are going the right way at the right time. But he very quickly splits off the right amount of units of the right type and sends them where they need to be before. And in this case, Terrans can usually react. Now, one thing you can copy is Overlords. First Overlord, check for the proxies near the third. Now is uh, looking, I want to, I want to, I need to know. Oh, wait, we already got sounds up. Okay, we're good. Thank you, Jimmy. The Overlord placements, Cyril's Overlords do not move any faster than your Overlords, okay? Or my Overlords. They all move the same speed, which is very slow. So, uh, this is something, one of the few things you can outright copy. Looks like that second Overlord is going to end up on the uh, burning building slash high ground in the middle outside the front. The first Ovi is going to be at the pillar near the third. Check it in. He's wondering if there's going to be any sort of units to snipe him off, but he checks the command center. So there's marines, and several of them. Now, this is going to become a running trend, but the default is... Well, I'm going to build more queens now. This is not a reaction to the marines. There's almost no scenario where the answer wouldn't be, I'm going to build more queens now. Like That's always going to be it. But more queens on the way, but drones as well. As the command center with the orbital shows, it's not a particularly Mission early complete. timing or some sort of crazy cheese. You want to get the drone count up and work on those queens. Of course, Cyril can't see the production tab or his opponent's minerals. That is that is for us to just kind of keep track here. Comes in. Spots the Marines. They're still at home. No Hellions yet, at least that he's seen. He's suspicious, though. Look at those Zerglings. So has another Overlord outside the base. The first Medivac spots it immediately on the minimap. Hellions spot it. And the Queens are grouping up. Notice Cyril has a Select All Queens key on his two hotkey here. He's just every... Another Queen pops out, adds it in. So all the queens pulled off the line. Try to deal with this Zergling counterattack. As against the Hellbad timing, it's going to be tough. The queens are spread out to minimize the Hellbad damage. Trying to target the medevac whenever it gets close. Zerglings to box out. Good counterattack. Realizes that the critical mass of Hellbats. He needs to buy some time. The Baneling Nest actually helps split these units into two different groups. The Hellbats have to file through into a concave of queens. And while Cyril loses a few drones, the queens are are able to collapse on the Hellbats. The Banelings, not for Banelings, but just 
for body blocking the helmets. He draws him in. The queens knock him out. And uh, what's the worker count after that? 43 to 36. He did lose a few workers and he had to build a lot of links. That small zergling counterattack, while everything else was happening, ended up one, slowing Clem down, and, and two, drawing his attention in general. Like the reinforcements couldn't come as quick, and drawing his attention at all allowed Cell to take advantage of the position. And now we got all those queens set up. He has two different queen hockeys. Wait, I think he split his queens between. Oh my god. I, he's got two different queen group. Maybe three. I'm not sure if those are all the same queens or not. He has one for injects, I believe. One for the main group, spreading creep through the middle, and another for the left side creep. I don't know if I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try to click it myself. Oh my god, he's so fast. Stop, Sarah. I, calm down. I need to I'm trying to Oh wait, I can't I don't have clickable hotkeys right now. Well we're gonna I think it's worth figuring out. Pause the game. I can't do this live. So he has one group of queens for injects. He has one group of queens for creep here. And one those are the same as the Oh, interrupt no wait. Okay, so for those of you wondering what the most important Zerg unit is, Sale right now has six control groups, three of which are for queens. So, no matter what you think of Sale, you cannot deny that he is effective. And, uh, well, apparently that's the strategy. The King of Queens here. Swarm forces under attack. I think he forgot he had an Evo chamber there for a moment. Yeah, he has him at the third. He's using camera. Another benefit. I don't want to constantly pause. I know people get annoyed at that, but I think it's worth pointing out. I'll try to keep it to that. Another benefit is when you have queens on the edge of the creep and two separate hotkeys, you can just double tap that key. Oh wait, I'm not on the Serral cam. You can double tap the key and it brings your camera there as well. So you don't just end up selecting queens in random locations. It's essentially a mobile camera location when you split your queens into different groups like this. So on top of allowing you to spread creep on different angles, it expedites the movement of your camera which is something a lot of players of all levels struggle with even got some creep spread down there banling speed is first priority then one one and what is the worker count 66 full three base saturation and then some it's more common for zerg to have that many so early it's not like you have to ration out control groups, okay? A lot of pro players, like Hero Marine, will just drag his hand across the keyboard and put every single hot key on an orbital to start, or his command center to start. I think maybe that's one, because it's fun, and two, that way, even if you misclick something, at least you're selecting your command center, so that's usually not a terrible thing. <laughs> but probably mostly the first thing. All right, so he's actually grouped all his queens to get this is it appears he's using steel keys, which is uh, let me let me explain that real quick. So I use them as well, uh, where instead of creating control group, though, I'm sure Sarah splits it to different situations. By default, it's alt alt plus whatever control group steals units from whatever group they're in or if no group, it adds them. And then it puts them in another group. So how does this work? Like, say you have three queens and 20 zerglings. You just control click or double click the zerglings. And they're all in the same control group. But you control two on the zerglings. And then it takes them away from the first control group and puts them in the second. So some version of that, uh, I, I bet, is what Cyril is using in order to uh, regroup everything quickly. Instead of having to go, like, remove from one and do the other. No, control and take away is a fancy word for, for steal in this situation. Or a fan, or another way to say. Not really fancy. It's not a very fancy explanation.
Do you want to know what confidence looks like? <laughs> well, <laughs> here it is. Cyril is confident he will be taking that base. He's right, as he forces the army away. I mean, the drone was coming from pretty far away, but he was clearly going to deal with it. That's actually his fifth hatch at this point. Now, so I assume Cyril's rehockeyed this one as well. But, wow, his... his Control groups are so fluid, which a lot of people get very set. Like, this goes on this hotkey, this goes on this one. Uh, whether it's spellcasters or, like, lings and banes. He's replaced the queens he was using on, like, his secondary queen control group with the lings patrolling in the main. He still has his inject queens on five. And then he's replaced, he's, he's added another group. Uh, which I'm gonna assume I have this on a mouse button actually. I don't know. I Don't expect Cyril to be hitting the zero key, but who knows But instead of being locked into anything, I mean Cyril is the most flexible player in the world So I'm, I, I guess I shouldn't be surprised but the details matter Oh, I I was wondering why I wasn't changing groups Creep spread, production. He's actually rallying. I think those. Oh, he's when he when he builds, he control clicks or or he just builds the overlords. He rallies them to the back and then he builds another set of unit or vice versa. Because when you just build one unit at a time from larva, you can rally it just like that. Oh my god, the queens! Mineral field depleted. bringing everything or at least most things together he has two separate groups i'm gonna once again it appears the four key is his like home defense and then the one key of course is his main army at least the one closest and then he has inject queens evo chambers queen defense uh the the brenda's knitting crew um the bkc on a hotkey, as they deserve, and then of course hatcheries. So not doing individual hatch hotkeys, which some players who played a ton of Brood War still do to some extent, but Cyril just a pleb groups them all into one. Did you see the injects? You want to you want to watch it again? Mineral cluster expended. All right. Did you catch it that time? A little slower this time. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna slow it as much as we can. Mineral field I think you caught it that time, but this is now at like two thirds speed, which is the slowest we can go for some reason. But so what is, what Cyril is doing? Um, there are two options here. He's either doing base camera, but I don't think he is. Based on the way he, he's moving, I think he's using camera locations. So what he does, Mineral let's move a little, and then as he starts, I'm going to frame by frame it a little. Okay. Oh, wow. Wait. Wow. I was giving him too much credit. Okay. I was giving Cyril too much credit here. He's just boxing. Uh, so I'd imagine in many scenarios he does use his inject group, but he's actually just, just very like it's insanely quick. But he's just insanely box, box click, box click, box click. 
which it's just he does it so goddamn fast. Yeah, that's what throws me off is like I expected it to be some sort of because what you can do is set it up so your camera locations or your base camera uh, essentially can be in the center of the screen. Then you hold it there, but he's just so quick. And it's just, that's even more impressive that he's using the less efficient method. And he's just slamming, like, that's so fast. Once more in real time. Under attack. That was a quarter second. So, if you use the control group method of any kind, you do have to set it up a little more. If you are that, I guess if you're that fast at boxing, then whatever. Like, that is insane to me how fast that is. Because he is dragging his mouth, and he's catching the drones with it, is what gets me. Like, he's catching the, he's bo like th swinging a huge box over his screen. It's not like he's just let the agent. I wonder what his DPI is. His DPI is like 4,200. He, he flicks his wrist. It goes across the entire screen. Maybe. Or I, I'd be amused. We, we could see his keyboard when he plays in tournaments. He doesn't have one of those like CSGO mouse pads where you're at like 400 DPI, except you swing your entire arm across it in order to hit the headshots. He doesn't do that, so... Pros, I've seen pros use base camera. It's just like, it's it's a very rare thing. Control groups, boxing, or camera locations are obviously more efficient, but people, like if things go horribly wrong, it is not your first, oh my God. Okay, I need like, what did he do with this one? He just did it again. Does he use his hotkey this time? Swarm forces. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. I am pretty sure that was base camera. Complete. Yeah, like... I feel like Cyril has three or four different methods. He just uses whatever seems like the best option at that time. Almost everyone, all us normies have one method. And maybe if we're feeling spicy too, but Cyril just rotates between like speed versus precision. And he builds so many queens, of course, there's a little leeway there. But not even Cyril can defend Widowmines perfectly. Yeah, everybody here like, this is the right method. Cyril's like, you're all right. You are all correct. Good job, everyone. Like, I don't Oh my god, he did it again. Swarm mutated. There's no way that's not base camera. There's no way that's camera location. He is slamming the base camera right there. It's... Alright. You can see his queen's wandering. To some extent. Like... And that is the downside of base cameras. If your queens aren't already set up to inject, your queens just wander around and inject hatches. It's it's like a pub crawl, except for queen inject. And... In a moment, there's some creep. Command unacceptable. I may have missed it. Ah! Ah! I saw that! I saw that! He's mortal. Uh, it's like, no, no, no. I, I, I calculated I need to kill those rocks one quarter second quicker. Mm-hmm. All right, Sarah. Forces under attack. 
attack. <laughs> God, that juke. The queens are wandering now. Like he's, he's sending the the BKC around. Actually, struggling a little bit to reorganize there. That's a lot of units. So, okay, what do we got? We have. Main control group. We have two vipers, I believe those are, yeah. Hatcheries. We have... Wait, what? This is this... This is... Wait, what is this group? Where are we here? Ah. This is the defense group. We've got the queen moot. The queen hockeys have overlapped a bit in the chaos. There's also some other zerglings kind of... The fact he's just actually just keeps adding control groups is crazy to me. I oh, he's got some real nimble fingers. I don't. It doesn't even matter if he's got some sort of different hotkey or something. Just the fact he's using like six or seven for units. Oh my god. <laughs> Every time. The reason, like, this is why, this is the stuff you never see in a cast. Like, nobody's watching the camera to the, you're just assuming the injects are happening. But. Let's see, let's frame by frame again real quick. And real quick indeed. Pops out, cues up. The consume immediately. Change. Okay. Sure. Injects every hatch multiple time. Uh. That was that was at slower speed. That the first inject to the last inject was somewhere around like a quarter second. Swarm forces under attack. Swarm forces under Cues attack. Cues up pathogen glands, yeah. That last second. Okay. I'm actually just gonna slow this fight down. See the little mine. He ate all the mines with the overseers. Bashes through. And then backs off before the army can close in. Oh my god, he even burrowed a mainling! And Clem saw it immediately. Under god, these injects. When it looks like his camera just uh, glitched out for a sec, that's actually him injector injecting his hatcheries. Parasitic bomb. Banelings. I don't know if that was an attack or manual detonation. Okay. <laughs> Cyril getting all cute. Cyril has said in the past, uh, and I'm definitely paraphrasing, I don't think it's a direct quote, but burrowed banelings are very good for distracting yourself into losing. AKA, like, focusing so much on trying to land the bro banes that you end up taking too much damage everywhere else. 
Miss a run by? No, would a mine drop? Sarah looked at it and the drones were already dead. Drilling claws is quite a thing. Sarah saw that. Yeah, sure, that's a normal place to expand, sure. Dun 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 Oh, he saw the Whittle Mines. Did you guys see the Whittle Mines? My favorite game is Find the Whittle Mine. If you win, you might. If you find them, you might do. Oh, the, the investor died immediately. But that's way too many main lanes. And drone call. Oh! Wait, what even happened there? I think that was a Whittle Mine hit, but I'm not. Something exploded. I mean, the game's been very much. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was just a widow. Oh, wait. Okay, so this widow mine. I can't even select it. There's. I can't. I don't even get to know how many kills. Well, let's see. There are 52 Zerglings and 22 Banelings. Now there are 26 Zerglings and 16 Banelings. But. Uh, but there is no recovering from that. Just too much, too fast. I think this is the time when I go back and I say, why are we still doing Hellbats, Clem? Unfortunately, I, ge I guess unfortunately is the terminology we're going to use, but uh, the only real response to essentially everything Terran can do in the early game is, well, then I'll build queens. Like, But Serral takes the queens to another level. I never... I haven't looked that closely, but it's not just building queens. There is a lot of detail, though I don't think most players need three queen control groups. I'm probably going to try two and then drop the ball horribly. That's the plan. Um, but it does actually make a lot of sense as like another version of a camera location without having to try to move it on the minimap each time. There is a chance Serral has rapid fire for Injects. That is a good point. Uh, he certainly has rapid fire. Well, the creep tumor key and creep tumors, cr ravagers and uh corrosive bile with corrosive bile the c key is used for a lot of stuff so that is kind of the default rapid fire key but you can add all you could make all of your keys rapid fire if you'd like um you just have to go into the actual hot keys like a notepad file as opposed to in game where it only allows you to but you can technically add your entire keyboard as rapid fire if if i don't recommend it i don't <laughs> But if, if that's what you're into. <laughs> yeah, just looking for proxy. The overlord ends up just waiting. There's too many locations they could come in from. Mm -hmm. So, at least six camera locations there. Oh my god. Is that an SCV? Yep. You can spam click as long as you're holding the ability key. What do you think rapid fire is? Okay, for those who don't know, rapid fire is when you bind the hot key of an ability to the choose AI or ability target. Uh, essentially, whenever the keyboard registers that key, so in this case, the C key for corrosive vial, it also does a mouse click or the equivalent of a mouse click. So that means if your keyboard, I don't know, like a hundred times a second or something, 
Maybe, maybe less, but let's say 50 times a second. So instead of having to click 50 times, you just hold down the key, and whenever your mouse is hovered over, it will activate that ability. It'll repeat the ability, which does have some downsides that are heavily outweighed by many of the upsides. So. Under the, at the very least, most pros bind it to, like, C. For Corrosive Bile, uh, I bind it. I also have Ghost Snipe on it. Auto Turrets. Creep Tumors are already on C. I have Warp and Zealots on C. All this stuff can be done. Can you re-clarify, repeat? I have a one-minute guide that explains it with visuals. If you use the Rapid Fire command or, uh, or you know, search it on YouTube. Build Marines on C? You're trying to be clever, but that actually defeats the whole purpose. You can already queue up Marines at the repeat rate of your keyboard, whichever hotkey, because it's not an ability, it's just building things, so you've already issued the command. It is not relevant for things that are in the selection box. How do you make a rapid fire key to begin with? Believe it or not, I have a one minute guide um, on YouTube, or maybe maybe that's the more comprehensive one that you can check that out and with visuals. have a guide nobody watches guides all right the one key rainer has that you don't get 500 apm with this one quick trick i apologize it might not be titled that so nobody watched it Unfortunately true, though. Yes, Cyril has selected the Abathur voice. When you watch replays, it does use the voice pack the player's using. Sometimes tournaments just, like, have accounts they have to use, and that's default. But as we found in Estrella versus Rainer, they were both using D.Va. <laughs> For example, I <laughs> So liberate, at least not Hellbats this time. We haven't been, we, we covered the, the queen. He's got his multi-queens now. They retreat we back to the creep. Successful. The liberator is dealt with. It's going to be Baneling speed first? Or Mutas? No, Baneling speed first. It also, it doesn't just increase the speed, it increases the HP. So that is a very key part of why Baneling speed first. Oh. God, the, the pushing out the creep from both sides. Three queens, usually enough. Always has a transfuse ready. I don't know if that's intentional or coincidental, but I'm inclined to give him credit. So methodical. <laughs> he just injected. I think that was camera locations. Or boxing. Can you comment on the EVO location? It, essentially, that EVO location is where it'll never get sniped. And also kind of unlikely to get scouted early. But I think 90% of it is it will never get sniped. At least not before he's already losing the game. If those EVOs die, he's probably already lost. 
or it's a ridiculous game. A lot of players will build them like at the edge of the main or even like a wall off at the third. And then even if your upgrade dies even once, like you're set insanely far behind. All right. So now, very key part. Notice there's an art to Ling Banes. Banes are born to die, but you want them to take as much damage as possible. And this, this was actually a bit ham-fisted of Saro, but what you'll see is either control clicking or just move commanding. So that way they take as many hits and as many shots as possible to absorb damage before they explode. And of course, that means they might close the distance more. But that is a huge part that I think 90% of below master Zerg players do not respect. Like, they wonder why their Banelings don't do nearly as well as Cyril. Well, it's because they're dying on the first Marine who bats eyes at them. Like, in or Marauder, even. Instead of absorbing another 50 shots from tanks, Marines, stuff like that. Everybody makes fun of A-moving Banelings, but whenever somebody says A-moving Banelings, I immediately know they don't know what they're talking about. Because Cyril essentially never A-moves Banes, except when he's trying to kill planetaries. <laughs> do Banes do the splash damage if they're shot to death? When Banelings die, they explode. That's it. Full stop. Fun fact, though. If the Banelings uh, attack... And this is why Cyril's Banelings lost on the unit's loss counter is so different. Because if Banelings attack like they A-move, they don't show up on the unit's loss tab, like on the observer interface. Because technically they succeeded in their mission. That's a weird quirk. But if they die by getting shot and explode, they're technically units lost. It, though the resources will still show up, it just won't show the Baneling specifically. They have to collide? Well, they have a radius. It's, relative, it's not very large, but it's, it's large enough. It's large enough. Just ask those Marines. <laughs> Notice the move command there to minimize the amount of banes needed instead of just aim moving into them, even with the Zergling, so that way it wouldn't alert Clem until it was already far too late. Clem forgot combat shield! How many goddamn Terrans? Clem is a world-class top five Terran. You've got four bases. You got two, two on the way. And he has no combat. God damn it! He's like, oh my god, Banelings are so OP. You could have ten more HP. There's no, like... I don't know how to beat Banelings. Well, maybe remember the mo the combat shield gives you more HP, especially against Banelings, than all three armor upgrades combined. If you stim these ba and lose that 10 HP, if you don't get healed, the Banelings one-shot you. That's what happens without combat shield. Oh my god, that's a huge mistake. I'm sure Serral, I'm I am 100% sure Serral noticed, by the way. Like, he's, he's very aware of this, and probably with a slight smirk, as is about the extent of his emotion. He's like, oh, even your Widow Mines are pretty good against him. Yep, Clem noticed now. Injects. Oh, trying to 
He's hold positioning the lings in order to try to draw the mine hit. Well, that one didn't go so great, but the first one did pretty well. Because he doesn't want the ling to die before the mine triggers, but sometimes you don't have too many choices. What the? <laughs> he hold positioned around the watchtower. Well, combat shield will finish, but Cyril's maxed out. Jesus Christ! He can't even really point to anything specific. He's just—he's just crushing everything. You can point to the lack of combat shield and how poorly Clem is doing, but it's done now. Gets 10 SCVs. Goes for the extractor before the hatch. Burrow, adrenal glands. What, make, what mistakes is Cyril making? I don't feel qualified to answer that. Occasionally, he takes a big Widowmine hit. Like, <laughs> but those are almost impossible to just fully negate without. Must be more At some point, they're just going to kill any small amount of units. He didn't even, he almost consumed his extractor to death, but stopped himself. Still has extractors are not going to bleed out. Okay. He's got 136. Yeah, he's got 91 drones. 6 out of 8. 11 out of 14. 15 out of 16. 16 out of 16. 3 out of 16 out of Liberator range. 13 out of 16. Oh my god. It's... Finds one tank, and eats the mine hit. <gasps> Mistake! He lost his most important unit, because he was microing. He lost it, it. Did he lose both vipers? Yes, he flew his vipers into marines. There you go. What a noob. That's actually kind of a huge deal. Though, why was Clem here? I don't know. Cyril doesn't... Oh, I know. You know what happened? Cyril didn't have vision of the army. He had the creep, but because he placed the creep tumor on the edge of this, like, high ground area, he didn't have vision from the creep tumor of where the marines were. So Clem was on the creep, but Cyril's creep tumor placement made it so he didn't actually realize the army was right there. Huge game-breaking mistake from... Honestly, at this level, it... If this game was a little bit closer... That could be a game-changing move. Having no vipers at this stage, when he, he's been building up to it. But, Cyril's, I mean, it's not like he's hurting for money, so... Build some more. Okay, you see? Control click on the Banelings. He's move commanded them through here. Multiple times, so he's very adamant about it. While the Zerglings are attacking. The way he goes. The Banelings control click back. The Zerglings for cover. Gets the tanks. Inject, you know. Rebuilds another wave. <laughs> he couldn't. It wait. Did it not show up on the mini map? I've had that issue on this map. Did he know? It does show up in the minimap. On the corner, though, if you have the Overseer, it actually, like, doesn't show up on the minimap. He found the Overseer. It was just... He had to dig it out of the corner. Is he determined to win this game with only Ling Bane? Well, how else do you suggest countering ghosts? When they go high-tech, you go low because you don't have any good high-tech units. 
The only way to avoid ghost snipes is give them nothing to shoot. He does have the lurker upgrades, but I don't think he goes for lurkers, except as a finishing move or for the production, really. Like, lurkers are just a liability in these armies. Especially against, like, Clem. Ooh, the tank target fire, dude. The night is shut down. Can't keep trying, though. Can't... Wait, is there no space there? Yeah. <laughs> there was no... I don't think there was enough space to jam the Nidus Swarm between the Ghost Academy and the Edge. Yeah, he's already queuing it up. Anything to pull the army out of position. Okay, those vipers. I don't think we'll see him lose the vipers for free again. It, by the way, creep tumors set up. I don't know where the queen. The queens are coming. They're they're around. We're not sure exactly where. Mineral field exhausted. They're getting there though. Parasitic bomb or blinding cloud? Terra bomb. Blinding cloud on the tanks. Baneling's move command through. Parabomb doing a lot of damage. More Baneling commands. Crushes the base. Pulls back. The night is finished, by the way. I don't think either player noticed that. Will Sarah remember? He's like, oh shit. Like, I. I, I. Uh oh. Yeah, one of those things. This is all just to keep. Uh, Flem as busy as possible here. Injects? But then he, he actually reset the queen commands. Hmm. It's not like Clem's taking a ton of damage here. The veinlings are not free. Well, all it takes is one good fight, though. Oh, blinding cloud. Parasitic bomb. Beautiful microwave by Clem, though. That was very quick. Oh. Sale just keeps hammering him. I think a knight is finished. Maybe not. He builds the knightus right next to the tank. He has a change leg in the main. Oh my god. Injects. Ah! Can't see over your own nose turret. You fool. <laughs> All right. Well, this is actually starting to do something. Yeah, the infestors are the game-winning move. Or at least what they're looking for. Parasitic bomb on the center medevac. Clem has not found time to repair. The Banelings burrowed. Oh, did he see it? Oh, come on. Give me it, Cyril. Oh! oh. oh. Hey, hey, that, hey, get him out. Get him out. There's just too much going on. Clem taps out with 150 supply because, like, that was the worst fight so far and it's not getting any better. Got the finishing move. Mutation, mineral cluster, the first attempt at murdered mainlings in the game is the last attempt. Jeez. Yeah, like, Clem could probably survive another wave or two, but Cyril actually lost more resources still, even as it ended there. It's just, he had like two or three more bases, so. God, he's good. I don't know, but maybe it's just Banelings being OP, guys. I don't, as you can tell there, uh, it's just OP Banelings and a move Zerg that has carried Cyril this far. Uh, you can, of course, download the replays for yourself and watch for those inject hacks and all that, but Cyril needs to stop ruining the game for the rest of us by abusing Zerk. We need to put an APM, like, a, like, a, like an ankle bracelet, but on his wrists. Has to play with mittens or something. Make it fair. 
So, yeah, you can find the replays on Liquipedia for tournaments. Check that out. Thank you for watching. Check out this video. I do want to get some of these up there. I want to do more of these. Though, everyone kind of pales in comparison to a certain someone. Right? Still fun to watch. Thank you for watching. Good luck, everyone.